Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins to another vlog. You like that word? Never used that word before. To another vlog, another video. Uh, like I said, we're trying to get more videos out for you guys, but it's very difficult. But I talked to Lisa and we're gonna work our best and tank the new plumber, as you can see. Uh -huh. You know what he does? He likes, to, he likes to grab stuff and just jam into your leg, which um, I'm actually taking him to a dog training facility on Thursday, so let's hope for the best. But guys, we going, we're going to start this video doing a giveaway. I don't know if you remember three, two or three videos ago, I said that, um, let me know in the comments below why the aquarium or the fish hobby is so important to you and what does it mean to you. And I said the, 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 I said the people with the most likes would win a t-shirt and a hat. I actually got three winners that I picked and I'm going to, should I just read the comments as well? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So number one, I have to open up on my phone then. All right, number one, give me a second here. It's going to be, and guys, we'll ship all over the world because it's a t-shirt and a hat. It's not like a fish. Gimbal, you all right? Oh, okay. I was going to give you a minute to get your phone. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, so the first one is Bharath. Bharat, Bharat, what does that say? Bharat Krishna. Bharat Krishna, so I was right. When I was a little boy, my grandfather used to take me every day to the hospital near our house where there was a huge community pond. Where was I? I might need glasses soon. There we, there, there used to, well, there we used to feed a giant pot called Peru sharks, I guess a Peru sharks, and koi. That was 16 years ago, and from then, when I caught a guppy fish, I kept in a bottle, which actually turned out to be a tadpole. To the Arapaim alligator gar, I kept. Every time I looked at them, I stare in a, a way, in a way, okay. I stare in a way and I feel like a little boy with his granddad and forgot all the problems in my life. So a lot of these comments that I realize it's just people either like they use the acquiring hobby for stress or some type of trauma they had a lot of military people that came from, from um, Afghanistan or the war. Um, which, one? This one got 177 likes, but it's so, it's so it's therapeutic. Thera what do you, ah, therapeutic, right? Therapeutic. Therapeutic? Therapeutic? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we gotta make this part, All right, I'll leave it. So, it's actually pretty cool to see that a lot of people use that to bring like the best of them, you know, which it sucks. It sucks that like a lot of us have like stress and some type of trauma. And it's cool to see that in, in the aquarium world or the hobby can keep bringing peace back and a peace of mind for them to relax and enjoy. So it's really nice to be a part of that. And obviously, obviously we do our best to keep going. And I don't know, it just makes it like all the hard work. Look, it's right now, it's 10 o'clock at night. We had to leave our, oh, you can see it? I don't think so. Oh, here, 10 o'clock at night. You see it now? 10-10, uh. there we go. It's 10-20. <laughs> so we had to leave Ryan with his grandmother so we could come here and film. No worry, I'm paying her well. Uh, number two, I think it was, Mark's fish tank. Getting to the hobby has kept me out of jail. It's pretty good. Before, where all my money goes into and not on alcohol and keeps me busy. So, Saturday spending money on alcohol, drugs, he found the, the aquarium hobby to be his drugs. And which, would you say that's my drug too? I'm talking to you. One of, yes. And the other one, I would say working out. Yeah. Yeah, friends. Friends are good drugs. Son? My son's the biggest drug ever. <laughs> and this third one that I picked is Brady Weatherholtz. I got into fish because my son has autism and fish tank calms him down when he's having a bad day, which is what we're talking about. He can be having the worst day ever and he will sit down and watch one of his tanks and just come down and start to smile and go back to his normal self. Fish was a life changer for us, which man, it's, it's so cool to, hear that a lot. yeah, to see that, you know, and even hear that or read, 
uh, when we used to own the moving company, we always talk about no matter how great we were, people are always going to complain, you know. And, and in this hobby, there's the same thing. We're always going to have people to complain. Um, nobody's perfect. We're not perfect, but we try our best to be close to perfection for you guys. So the winners to get your T-shirt and for the number one to get your T-shirt and hat, just leave us an email here at livefishatpredatoryfins.com and we can ship it right out to you. So congratulations again to the winners and to claim, just leave us that email. Or you can always call our secretary, our amazing secretary, Valentina at 561-430-7944. Now guys, we're going to start this video, we're doing another giveaway, okay? Now this is gonna be one of my favorite fish that we had this year. I'm talking about the Phantom Red Tail, where everybody went crazy for them, watch for the dog. I, I wanna do a little challenge, okay? I have four of them they are growing right here. You see one big one back there. And a couple other ones. Now, I wanna give you, I wanna do a giveaway on the Phantom Red Tails. What I wanna do is, if this video, are you okay there, buddy? I wanted to show them, yeah. Okay, all right, just wanna make sure. If this video gets 10,000 likes, which I know is not that hard, all you gotta do, if you like this type of videos, if you wanna see more content, just give us that like. 10,000 likes, I'm gonna send you a uh, Phantom Red Tail. Now, to be the winner, all you need to do, I need to know in the comments below, your number one fish, like of all times, like the one fish that you have to have, if you could, any fish that you could ever have, even if you can't, like Asian Arwana or a snakehead or whatever it is, just the number one fish and why. Let me know in the comments below. The comments that get the most like for the next video we're gonna pick and it's gonna win this amazing Phantom Red Tail. I won't give you one of mine, but I definitely will give you a bigger one. Now, what I wanna do guys, and this is for everybody that bought the Phantom Red Tail, at the end of the year, December, for Christmas, I wanna do a challenge. The person that has the biggest Phantom Red Tail by then, we win a $500 Yes, look, she is always scared behind the camera. $500 gift card from Predatory Fins. Now, I'm competing as well. So that's, that's the key right there. I got four, so you better step up. And I know Ohio Fish Rescue has a few, a couple other guys has a few. By December, let's say 20th, send me pictures or videos measuring your fish. The one that has the largest, the longest red tail is gonna win the $500 gift card so it's from Paratory Fins. Just length, not width, right? Right, it's just length, the biggest one. I, you know, the, longest, it, the, longest. the longest one. You can't even stretch it either. Don't, don't stretch the tape, make it real. Because I wanna feed these guys a lot, so I might even win. But enough of uh, giveaways. I think that this is gonna be a nice one. And make sure, guys, if you're gonna enter the giveaway, make sure you have a tank for this fish because it does get pretty big. It's still a red tail, and we obviously we want him to go to a good home. All right, so let's go ahead to the 800 gallon tank and see what we're going to do here. Okay, so this tank right here, it's a, what is it, 10 or 12 feet? I don't even remember. I don't know it's 800 gallons and it's pretty deep, so it's very dark. The, 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 you see there's a big pleco back there, you can't even see it. I'm trying to get some really bright lights for this tank. There's a huge pleco light yeah, I can't see. right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move these plecos to the 12,000 gallon. We're gonna leave them in there, let them grow. They're already all treated, ready to go. And we're going to start setting up this tank for my grow outs, which are the vampires, the Dorado cat. I think the Dorado cat's gonna look really nice on the red uh, sand. So let's, let's do a trial. If we don't like it, we can always take it out. But yeah. it's gonna be, I got the sand. This is actually, if you guys are looking for this type of sand, I can order for you. It's Aquaterra, and it's uh, for aquarium or reptiles. It's called red sand. <laughs> I mean, it's not orange. So we're gonna go ahead, start moving these guys to the 12,000, fill it up with sand, and see what it's gonna look like at the end. Let's do it. Are you excited? Yeah. No, I know you're not. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta get this monster pleco here. Can you see? Look how big he is compared to the net. But I need to hand grab him, though. Oh, I'm gonna get messed up, I already know. Don't, oh, don't get the bike wet. 
Well, Mike, don't get wet. Got two of them in. The first one I had to throw it over there because the Arapaimas wouldn't, you know, leave him alone. But the second one he got in, the Arapaima almost got my hand. We tried to film it under there. I don't think you guys are gonna see much with the GoPro. But they're huge. No, that's a rip saw. Let's see. I see one right there. Oh, look, 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 right here, babe. I think it's a little cloudy. But there's one back there by, with the jowl. You see? It's swimming towards us. Yeah. I wonder how big these guys are going to get in this tank. I mean, they're still going to be for sale. I just want to keep one of them. There he is. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, you know what? I just looked at Sheila. She looked like she has a little bit of fungus on her. Probably going to have to take her out on another video and um, treat her. But all right, let's go. Let's get the last one. What? I don't want that tampon. It's wet. Oh, it's extra. No, it's not. It's so I have one here? Yeah. Oh. Man, these things are so powerful. Like when the net gets closed, you just literally push the net away. All right, that's it. I'm done playing games. You're mine now, buddy. You see how he just pushed the net? Yeah. I told you I was done playing games. Sometimes, you know. Ah, damn driftwood. Hey, hey, hey. This one is not as big as, oh. It's not as big as the other ones, but it's still pretty, pretty big. Look, very healthy fish. Oh, got me on the legs. Watch out, Watch out. Oh, see? He's doing this. Oh, 
He got me good here. Hold on. Okay. All right. Still pretty, pretty good size, but smaller the tree. The tree. Smaller the three. All right. Let's go. Let's put him in. These things are so prehistoric. I wonder, like, how do they come out, you know, through evolution and get spikes all over their body? Even on the tail, look, you see? All right, buddy. Just swim this way. Because they're applying myself that way. You missed it? You got a little bit. You get, to have a Why is the gimbal acting up today? Well, while we're here, guys, I just want to show you. I had to separate these two females because the males in that thing, there's two males, they're juvenile, and they're very, very aggressive. So overnight, they destroyed their disc, trying to breed with them. Right now, they're almost 100% healed up. I'll say another two weeks in here, and they'll be ready to go. So I'm probably going to remove them out of here within two weeks and then I'll probably sell those males and get him out of that tank because otherwise they're just gonna attack them again we can even put any other females in there because they're just too crazy but the funny thing is they're not crazy towards the wild caught race watch out like we have this beautiful Otorongo here or Falconer eye that I kept and they don't really bother her like her disc is perfect and they also have that big female over there which Kevin said was an Altarongo hybrid. And she also doesn't have any mark, uh, bite marks. So they're not really interested on them. So now we're gonna use the rubber net so we don't mess up with their fins. I'm gonna kill this fish. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> 